Hello Divine Feminines and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Divine Feminines, I am here to give you guys just um, a real quick energy update. Wanted to see what's going on with you and your person. Um, <laughs> so far it's very interesting, okay. Uh, these came out in your pre-shuffle so I left them out for you. We're going to go through everything together though, we're freestyling it here. Um, I'm going to use the Royal Mischief deck tonight, right, just to see what's going on. Uh, and uh, yeah, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, right? Um, who needs it, right? Who needs what doesn't resonate with you? Don't don't fret over it, okay? Um, just don't try to force any reading into your world, that's all. And thank you so much, Divine Feminines, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything, your smiley face emojis, the love you guys send me. Thank you so much. Um, those comments and the new subscribers. Um, yeah, topsy-turvy. Everything's coming back on these people. Everything is coming back on these people. All right, you know what? Thank you so much, guys, for all of your support. Let's get into it. Um, <clears throat> this is what I'm feeling like. There's like a group of people who just kind of party and drink together, okay? This could be at a bar. The card even says drunken fools. So there's like a bunch of drunken fools that hang out together, and I feel like they talk about you, like trash talk you um, behind your back. Uh, they, they send you bad energy. Um, they may not even know it because they're drunken fools, right? They're doing something that they don't even, it's just foolish behavior, but they don't know what they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing. They keep messing with you. And in this, in this drunken state, who knows what they're saying, who knows what kind of energy, okay, um, that they're putting into things. And I feel like whatever they're doing, whatever they're saying is coming right back on them. Top, topsy, turvy. I'm telling you, it's coming right back on these people. Um, you know how, because for every person who's talking smack about you, for every person in this group of drinkers and partiers, this is a group of drinkers, okay? Um that hang out together, I feel, okay, that they're together, they're talking about you. For every person who's doing that, there's um, someone, an ancestor of yours. This is your spiritual team I keep talking about. Um, these are your ancestors, your spirit guides. These are the people who are backing you now. And I feel for every person that's doing this, there's a spiritual um, bodyguard, basically, uh, it says even it even says here take one home. They're taking your they're taking your ancestors home with them. They're they're gonna be attacking here. Um, these people are gonna start being haunted. Look, haunted. This is this this is the second time I've seen this in your shuffle. Cosmic creatures. I'm telling you, they're gonna be haunted. For every person who's sending you this bad energy whether they're drunk or not they can't use that as, as an excuse anymore um it's the backlash is coming it's coming right back on them in the form of uh somebody from your team coming in to defend you and haunting them at night okay haunting these people it doesn't matter if they're drunk or not if they continue to do this and trash talk you, they're going to be getting haunted by one of your ancestors or one of your spirit guides, okay? <laughs> Heads are going to roll. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Any, any kind of bad juju that was sent to you, it's, it's going right back to these people. It's going right back to them. Look at all their mouths are wide open. I'm telling you, all they've been doing is there's men and women in here. Sending you bad juju, that's what's going to happen to them. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what's going to, it's coming right back on them. 
Yeah, knight at the half was. I, yeah, I feel like there's a ringleader here. There's a ringleader. There's other women involved. Yeah, I feel like it's coming. It's coming back on all of them. All right. Your spiritual team is coming in. We've had, honestly, I've done cancer readings like this before, so you may be a cancer. Don't You don't have to be, but you may want to look back at some of my past readings about this spiritual team coming in to fight for you. Um, birds of a feather, yeah. Even the people, like, say there's people that, um, Say one of the karmics or a karmic ex, right? Because I'm I'm feeling karmic masculines too here. Say they they just talk to somebody like so one person starts it, and another person joins in, or even if they just sit there and listen and don't stop it. Anybody who picks up that story, they're affected. It doesn't matter who starts the story if they join in. If they join into sending the bad juju and talk and smack about you behind their back, they're getting they're getting haunted to by one of your spiritual a member of your spiritual team. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're drinking, it doesn't matter if they started it or not. It's all coming back to them. Every person who's who's done this to you or to, or has taken part in it right or has taken part in it um is <laughs> they're about to pick up karma in the form of one of your ancestors who's going to come in and fight for you they're showing their teeth man they're going home with these people and haunting them at night girlfriends these are these could be people who are friends of yours friends to your face stabbing you in the back right smiling in your face and stabbing you in the back right they're not safe any friends that do this just because you know if they didn't start it fine but if they don't do anything about it if they don't have your back if they take part in it guess what there's a member of your spiritual team that's that's going to come and protect you too even even your besties there some of you could have a best friend that this is affecting as well um, I also feel like, I, I don't want to put that back in. Yeah, backstabbing, I'm telling you. Smiling in your face, but stabbing you in the back. What did I just say? Smiling in your face, but stabbing you in the back. They're going to get theirs too. Look, spiritual team coming in to give it right back. I'm telling you, your spiritual team coming in to give it right back, especially if it's your bestie. They're going to get it, yeah, look, because they would, they would rip your heart out. So guess what? They're going to get it even worse. They're going to get it even worse because these people, I feel like, like I said, they smiled in your face. They stabbed you in the back. Here you are trying to join them, and what do they do? They kick you. You know, think back, right? Think back. Did, uh... Did anybody ever, like your, your, your friends, did they invite you to do things with them and then try to sabotage you or try to hurt you while you were out? Think back on it. That would be this person. They'd tear your heart out, but they're getting theirs. They're getting theirs, I'm telling you. All right, what else can you show me for Divine Feminine? Your spiritual team is coming in and they're opening a big can of, I'm going to say it, they're opening a big can of whoop ass on these people. And that's a lot. Yeah, I feel like they're fighting amongst themselves now. Um, yeah, they're st now they're starting to turn on each other. They're starting to turn on each other because it's, it's coming back to haunt them, okay? Oh, I'm telling you, your spiritual team, it's its like, this is war, man. They're turning on each other, some of them, because they're, they're being haunted. All of that bad energy is coming back to them as a group. Yep, as a group. They partied together, they talked about you together, now they get their karma together. Now your spiritual go, team goes in together. Show and tea. 
telling you. Meanwhile, you're like, hmm, 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 oodles and doodles, having new ideas, fresh new ideas, right? Doing your own thing. People are talking about you. Gabba, 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 gabba. Talking, talking, calling each other, whispering in each other's ears. Um, all the gossip because of your ideas. Because of the ideas. That, and you know what? You're out here doing your own thing. Drawing doodles, dreaming up new things, planning a new project maybe. And all these people can do is talk about you. And that's why your spiritual team is going in. Because you're, you're minding your own business and they're minding your business. And your spiritual team is like, we have had enough. These people, all they do. And once one bit of a story leads to it, I mean, it just blows up, right? By the time the story gets to this person, it's already all wrong. But um, yeah, they're just talking about you. And whatever it is that you're doing, whatever creative um, venture you've got going on, that's what they're talking about. Okay? Continuous ideas here from you, I feel. Very, very creative. And it's just like, me, 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 me. Uh, these people don't agree with what you're doing, I feel. The gossiping housewives, it says right here. They're all gossiping about you. They don't agree with what you're doing. They have all kinds of judgment calls, you know. This and that. Maybe it's about your spirituality, whatever it is that you're working on. You know what I mean? They're, they're just judging you. Wasn't, wasn't that like one of the biggest rules? Like it's not their place to judge, but that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing, but it's not their place to judge. See, your spiritual team knows that better than anybody, and they're coming in here to fight for you. Showing teeth, wearing spiky collars, right? You've got Spike, Brute, and Fang all coming in. They're messing with you. They're sending you bad energy, whether they're aware of it or not. And it's time for this to end. Your spiritual team is going to bring them down. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right, what else can you show me here for divine? You know what? Let's get the tarot on it. Yeah, I really feel like your spiritual team is coming in and backing you up. These people are going to start being haunted, fighting amongst themselves. You said what? What did you say? I don't know. What did you say? Because they, you know, they said it when they were drunk most of the time. These women over here, there's a, there's like, there could be a group or a family of women that's just like trashing you behind your back. They're, they're getting it too. You've got a big spiritual team here that's really ticked off. And they are saying enough is enough. Stop messing with this person. All right, so what else can you show me for Divine Feminine? What else can you show me for Divine Feminine? Don't messages. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, this is somebody who's saying a lot. I think they're saying a lot. There's a lot of different things that they're saying about you. Could be dealing with um, maybe the one of the biggest people here talking about you anyway is this King of Swords, an air sign. Could be an air sign. And I feel like they're saying a lot. They could be talking about things that you've done in the past, that kind of thing. This is somebody that you could have been committed to before. Um, but here's the thing, no matter what they say, you still come out smelling like a freaking rose, right? You still come out smelling like a rose because it's clear that, you know, it takes a lot to be the Queen of Pentacles. Let me tell you what it takes. Behind that pentacle here, it's not just about financial security and abundance, right? It's about the ability to handle everything, the 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 business, the finances, the home, the family, the errands, the living of your life and still remaining grounded and stable, okay, and balanced out. But it takes a lot to do that. 
It takes dedication, commitment, loyalty, um, drive, okay? Um, sometimes sleepless nights, right? Because you have responsibilities. Um, it, it takes it takes that really good nurturing energy too to create all that you've been able to create here. Um, so, you know, whatever this person is saying about you, and it could be a lot of different things, you still are looking like the rose here because people know what it takes to accomplish the things that you do, okay? Yeah. I feel like you're on your own here with all of this stuff, all your responsibilities. I feel like you're handling them on your own. Um, so I feel like you're single out here. You're committed to your um, spiritual path and your home and your, your business and your finances and your, um, your future. Yeah. Secretly, somebody wants to come in and make things right with you. That collective, sorry, my battery died. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody wants to come in and try to make things right here, but this cycle has closed out. It's over. You're moving forward. Um, yeah, cycle is over. You're moving forward. You know, and I feel like these people are upset. Okay, they're upset. I feel like this is you, collective. You're defending your stance on this. And there's a lot of people that are trying to come back. That's really what I feel like. They're trying to come back here. And they, they're hiding a lot because, like I said, these are people who have trashed you behind your back. Do you understand? They sit around, they drink with their buddies, and they just talk about you and trash your name. It, so for some of you, it's even your best friend who's either witnessed it or taken part in it. Sorry, I got to adjust my little personal heater here. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, and you're moving forward. You're like, no, ixnay on that. I'm, I'm, I'm making a judgment call here. I'm, this is ending. You're letting this end, and you're moving forward here into a new cycle. The new cycle has started already with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you've got some new opportunities, new friendships, a new soul tribe coming. And I feel like you no longer want to waste your time on these backwards thinkers, okay, who just sit around like drunken fools and get drunk and talk about you all the time. No, you're done with that. As a matter of fact, you're the one with the victory here. I don't even know if, if, any, if these people can see straight enough to watch you leave. Seriously. You're like, I'm done. I'm not wasting my time anymore on these people. I don't care. I'm moving forward. Some of you could be moving to a whole new place in the world, like a, like a, a real location change, you know? Some of you could be moving away, away. Um, but whatever it is that you're doing, you're just, you're just moving forward with your life, putting these people in the past. They're low-vibing individuals here. And um, you're holding your head up high. You're having the victory, and you're giving them something to talk about. I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. You're just done with these people. I feel like this is graduation day for you, letting go of this kind of riffraff and allowing your spiritual team to come in and take care of it for you. That's what you did here. You, you released and let, and let the divine take over. And as soon as you did that, you got in this chariot, you had a victory, you started moving forward with your life and leveling up. And here come your spiritual team. They're like, let, it, let us at them. Let me at them, right? And so your, your people now are like, let us back in. Let us back in, right? Well, they can see you having a victory here. They can see you uh, becoming a star and extremely abundant. And, you know, like I said, you're the queen of pentacles energy. It takes a lot of commitment to get to this point. I think you're committed to your spiritual journey and the messages that you're getting and doing the right thing for you. And you're out here being a guide for others, I feel, to do the same thing. 
and it's becoming abundant. I feel like um, the divine made you, turned you into a star, put you in the public eye. Now these people can see how abundant you actually are. Everyone can see it. I think BS is being called out. People are coming back wanting another chance with you, and you're like, no. <laughs> no. It's done. It's over. You've walked away, leaving these people feeling pretty defeated. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of these people are talking about you. All right, give me just a couple more for the collective here for Divine Feminine. But you're out here having a glow up, right? That Earth Angel energy, Divine Feminine. Okay, that's what we're talking about here. You're, you, it's almost like you can't be defeated because you've made the right choices and you put in the effort into you. So you, you have a victory, and everything that they tried to do, everything that they sent out to you, be, be, whether they tried to or not, even your besties, the people that are closest to you, all of them, they're about to be haunted by the spiritual team that has your back. Everything, every bit of that bad energy is going right back to these people. Yeah, you walked away from this, and you're defending yourself against these people and their opinions. It's like, I don't care what you say. I, I know what path I'm on. I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, all these opinions coming at you, you don't care. You're taking a stand on everything. You're, mm-mm. No, you're standing up for yourself, and you're moving forward. No matter how they try to come in. Because I feel like you know you can't trust these people. These are people who judge you, talk about you. Okay. They may even laugh about you. They don't like what you're doing. They've joined in on all the talk about you. Yeah. Yeah, and now they have to let you go. They've got to let you go. They're going to have to let you go. They're going to have to let your energy go, and they're going to have to let all of this um, bad-mouthing go. Because you know what? Your spiritual team is not having it. Anyway, guys, that's what I got for you for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you guys like this video, please click, uh, click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. And until next time, everyone, take care of you, Divine Feminine, okay? And peace out.